Uh, first of all, uh, let me apologize for the absence of John Williams, the president of the BPSA. Um, this is the second year in succession I've had to apologize for him. Um, he and Mr. Sin he and Mr. Sinclair seem to time the presentation of the budget so that John is not present and somebody else has to do, to do the job. I've, I've told him that next time, if it ha should happen again, I will be the one for an early bomb threat for the airline to prevent him from leaving, <laughs> leaving the island. Having said that, um, when, you, when you're up to bat last, you're, nothing is expected of you. And, and certainly coming after Gloria and Troy, I think that they have discussed in, in fair amount of depth um, the, the issues that the budget rose, uh, raised in terms of the, uh, new, new taxation and where relief um, was granted. Having said that, there are a couple of things that I would like to comment on. The whole context of the budget, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, sorry, the, the Finance Minister took uh, <laughs> Freudian slip, maybe. That might be a Freudian slip. <laughs> he was. <laughs> my friends would excuse me for that. Um, my enemies, on the other hand, may not. The, um, he took pains at the, at the outset to explain that there were several, there were five goals on which he wanted to, 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 to focus and he wanted the, the issues to address. And those goals, and I won't read them in thing, but they were to maintain the stability by managing the foreign exchange re, uh, reserves, uh, meet the revenue and expense targets of the medium term finance fiscal strategy, raise the level of investment in traditional and new economic sectors, continue the growth of the national economic restructuring and to protect the most vulnerable in society. And I think if you go through the items that he did address and so on, there are elements to varying degrees that, that seek to satisfy those goals. And, and one could argue um, whether um, there was too much of an emphasis on one to the, to the exclusion of the other. I certainly have uh, no problem with maintaining level of foreign exchange reserves, but what I do have a problem with is where that means that you're not you're going to take money out of, of out of the economy at, by by reducing disposable income. To me, businesses need money to circulate and and transactions to, to grow. And where the, where the finance minister is saying that there is a real fear that if that happens, we're going to spend on foreign produced goods and therefore 70 cents of every dollar will go overseas and the, and the, and the uh, reserves will be under pressure. I think he's, he's not giving Barbadians the credit that Barbadians are due. I, th I think if you want, if you, the, the businesses need that, that tr those transactions to take place and there is a, there is a correct mix. And I'm not too sure we've reached the correct mix yet. Um, in terms of the VAT, certainly no surprise there. That was, that, that was that, that, you know, uh, your remarks a long time ago that, that was, once it go up, it's not coming down. In fact, the only thing that seems to come down these days is rain. And, 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 and even that is not coming down of late. So <laughs> God knows what's happened. In terms of the excise tax on fuel, um, good to note that there is the concept of a trigger where, where the fuel world market price of oil uh, heads north of $95. Um, as he was speaking yesterday, in fact, the, the price was below 80, um, but he didn't see it fit and they thought that was a missed, missed opportunity to, to address something there and then. Certainly there is scope, I believe, within the BNOC and the structure of how fuel, fuel is priced in Barbados for reduction in terms of diesel. Diesel is really the fuel that, that the, the, the source of energy that fuels business in Barbados, whether in manufacturing or distribution. And I thought that there was an opportunity there with the price instruction now in place and what's happening in the world market to do something creative there. Um, some time ago, I can't remember if it was 2008 or 2009, uh, when the, the duty-free element of, of, of diesel was removed from manufacturing, uh, we were told that we had, there was a, a, a huge, I think it was referred to as the $80 million uh, subsidy or, or debt at BNOC that we had to fund and excise tax was increased by a, by a small amount to cover that. I am not too sure and, and nobody from government has ever come forward. I know Patrick has peached on this for some time to, to tell us where we are with repaying that loan. I suspect that the loan has been repaid. Um, looking, having seen the, 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 the financials of BNOC, they're making a $100 million profit, an $80 million loan some four years ago uh, may have been long since um, uh, dealt with. Uh, the health tax credit, uh, again, it, this, this was referred to in the speech as a tax credit, not too sure exactly how that is going to be applied. Uh, in my thinking, and Gloria is the tax expert here, a tax credit means that you calculate your tax and then deduct what you have spent on that, uh, that element from and pay the net. 
Um, this, the question raised, therefore, is if you are in a tax refund situation, does this increase your refund? And I think Pricewaterhouse made the point, um, what happens with persons who have uh, health schemes and the health scheme is funding that, um, do they get to double dip, so to speak? So there, there, there clearly needs to be some uh, explanation or clarity there. Land tax rebates are certainly welcome. I will soon be a pensioner, so I hope they don't take that off the books by then. And the amnesty, um, one issue with the amnesty we, we, we consider is that the 30 days may be a bit short for persons who want to access it to, 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 to table their intents and find the, res and find the funds to do so. Perhaps they, they should consider that you table your, your intent and then give you perhaps another 60 days in which to make the actual payment, failing which you would, of, of course, lose the amnesty. Motor vehicle duties, I'm not going to deal on that, except to note that I was not aware that we had manufacturing plans for motor vehicles in Barbados. I, I don't think there are many manufacturing plans for motor vehicles the world over. I'm not an expert, but I believe, I believe what we had, if we had anything, were assembly plans, but, but, but I could be wrong. <laughs> the Green Inn levy, um, I take on board uh, what Troy said. Um, I also would like to have seen something more for what we plan to do to reduce it. And the, 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 you know, the funding it is one thing, but, if, but, but that funding will only increase over time. So this is now on the books, and like, like everything else, and, and your rate, it's not going to come down over time. It will go up over time, and it, it will, it's just another thing. The other concern I perhaps had with it um, is that the money collected goes through, it goes into the consolidated fund. And, and unfortunately, when things is getting there, they get commingled, and you can't identify what was for what. If, if this was an initiative aimed at greening, um, and it should flow straight through to, to, to the SSA as part of, as part of uh, uh, thank you, Bizier. <laughs> you can pay me later. <laughs> uh, one issue there that I want to raise, and this one is personal to, to me in my, formal, in my formative job. Um, in, in our plants, when we build, well, the new plant we build now, and certainly with the brewery, we've had to introduce um, the concept of, well, not the concept, a, a wastewater treatment plant. Uh, we have one in place at BBC, and there's one in place at the brewery. Um, the current legislation requires us to bring all our wastewater back to portable. And that's not a problem, it's just a cost. Um, but the reality is that once you get that water portable, the legislation restricts you in the use of it to drip irrigation. Well, our, our plant in Newton is largely on a concrete pad. It's a concrete, almost just a, a concrete site. I'm not too sure what drip irrigation we are going to be able to use this water for um, and, and, and the vast expanse of it. We, and we're not suggesting that because it's bringing it portable that we use it back in the process. Um, but we would like for things like cleaning of floors, washing of trucks, uh, sanitize it, uh, uh, you know, in the, in the bottle washer, in the, in the first rinse, not the final rinse, and in the pasteurizer and stuff like that. The legislation currently doesn't accommodate that, and I think they need to, to look in, in, at the legislation in light of, of, of some of the things that they're putting on the, um, on the books. Um, agriculture, I think the, 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 what they're proposing there are obviously welcome. Um, the main issue is obviously going to be get, getting through the red tape to access um, what, what, is, what is available. Um, I know from my experience, well, I know from my position in Pine Hill Dairy uh, that the dairy farmers had certainly in their meetings with the minister sought to get some uh, direction from him as to how soon they could get some of their VAT rebates. Um, they didn't seem to get any, any joy in this thing about accessing VAT rebates, although there would be something there for them with the rebate on, on new animal stock coming in. I think BARP, when I read the, read the, read the, um, the, pre the presentation, the minister said that he was, he was going to exempt BARP from VAT. Um, exempting BARP from VAT is not doing him a service. In fact, it's probably doing him a disservice. If you're exempt from VAT, you cannot charge the tax, but by extension, you can't claim it back either. Um, so if, 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 the, if the wording and the intent is correct, uh, member, the membership of BARP or the hierarchy of BARP have gone backwards rather than forwards in, in my estimation. And, and perhaps it's just the uh, uh, incorrect wording that will, uh, that will get corrected. I'm told I'm on, I'm, I'm, I have a one-minute warning. So. 
My last comment, and, and, and this one is near and dear to my president, Mr. Williams, is the use of national insurance funds for things that are non-income earning. And, and there are, here I refer to the tertiary education fund. Um, and, and, and I must admit that I plead complete confusion in reading that section of the presentation. There was a $10 million threshold, and then there was a $1 million going to one fund, then there was a $4 million, then there was a $5 million. I wasn't sure if they're independent millions coming out or if they're cumulatives, but it seems as if there was a lot of surplus. And, and, and the surplus was some, in some instances going to uh, income earning assets, but in some cases they were going to non-income earning assets. And, and, I, and I'm very cautious that the non-income earning assets um, should not take up the majority of that surplus. The funny thing about surpluses is that you know, they're nice, but, but a surplus today you know, can turn to a deficit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the nice, the, having a surplus in, 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 your, in your investments is something you want to, to continue to invest so that you can ride out the troughs that, that will come over time. So just a word of caution there in, in, terms, in terms of that. Um, I think that but covers it. Uh, most of the other speakers, I said, come in last, you do. Or oh, on, on, on hotel and tourism, I, I think that while the measures are welcome, there, could have, there, there, there should have been more. If this is one of the main pillars on which the economy is going to grow, I think that the government owed it to do more in the, in, in to, to help tourism right here, right now. Some of the in issues with the, the, the refurbishment and the, the, the RE and the EE, are longer, or medium to longer terms. Right here, right now, they need some assistance, and I, and I thought there was a deficit there. Thank you.